Having a logo is how you differentiate your blog from the others and a good logo will allow people to have a lasting impression of what your blog represents. And of course, the logo itself isn't enough to create that lasting impact. There are several elements that play a part as well. But in today's video, we're just going to talk about logos and how you can create them without breaking the bank. Now, I'll break this video into three parts. The first part, I will share with you the different types of logo you can use. The second part, I will share with you a simple way to create a logo. And finally, I will share with you how you can create a logo in less than one minute without any designing skills or spending a single dime. The key for this video is to help you create a professional and stunning looking logo without hiring anyone or spending any money. So make sure you stick with me to the end. Hey, this is Jack from Income Stream Builders and if this is your first time here, click that subscribe button, check that bell. I put out a lot of information every week to help you start making money online. You can check out my other videos on my channel or if you want to get notified of new videos like this, you know what to do. Now, there are basically six styles of logos you can use. There are typographic, pictorial with typographic, typographic with pictorial, pictorial by itself, batch and crest style, and mass chords. And in case you want to go deep into learning the types of logos and how and when you use them, 99designs.com has created a very useful article on this. You may want to check it out. I've left the link below this video. So now I want to share with you how to come up with logo ideas and how to put them together. Depending on your niche as well as your domain name, you may have some ideas on how you would like your logo to be. But if you have no idea at all, let me walk you through the process. Now, there are many ways to create a logo. You may have heard of Photoshop, Gimp, and all these photo designing tools, and those are great. But if you are totally new to those platforms, it is a steep learning curve and it may not be worth your time because you are a blogger, not a designer. So what I want to share with you is a very simple way you can create a logo without learning how to use those complicated tools. But the first thing before creating a logo is to decide what style of logo you want. Is it going to be typography, pictorial with typography, logo with mascot or whatever? Because once you know what you want, you can start thinking of what to add to your logo. So once you've decided what type of logo you want, you can go to Canva. I've left a link below this video. Canva is really like the kindergarten of all image designing tools. It's really simple to use. First, you gotta click on the link below this video. It will bring you to Canva. Then you need to create a free Canva account. You can create an account either with your Google or your Facebook login, or you can simply use your email address to create a new account. And once you have created an account, you'll see a page like this. The next thing you wanna do is to click on this arrow to toggle the categories. And as you see, there is the logo. You want to click that. And depending on your niche, they have created templates for you, which is great. But if your niche is not in one of these templates, you can just scroll down to browse the templates that you like. You don't need to worry if it is relevant to your niche or not because these elements, you can change it later. What you're looking for is the color scheme that matches your brand and the look and feel you want as well as the position of the image and the text. Whether you want a logo image above the text, or you want an image beside the text, or you just simply want text. But one thing I want to mention is that you should keep in mind whatever logo design you select, the color scheme needs to match the overall design of your blog to make it consistent. All right, now let's say that I really like this logo template. I click on it and you'll see that it is populating. Now with Canva, everything is in layers. If you mouse over to each of the elements, you can see that they are separated by layers. So if there are any elements that you want to edit, you can just click on it. And you can see at the top over here, you can change the colors, you can crop it or whatever. So let's say that I don't like this image or vector. I can click on it and delete it by hitting the delete key on your keyboard. Then you want to click on elements and search for a keyword relating to your niche, like for example, guitar. And then you should be able to see some elements you can use for free. And if you want to choose one of the premium ones like this or this, you just need to pay like a dollar or you can upgrade to Canva Pro for $12.95 per month. Or if you pay yearly, it will be $9.95 per month. But honestly, you don't need Canva Pro if you are just creating one image or one logo. The Pro is really for people who frequently use Canva for designing. So I would say just use one of the free elements. It's quite good looking even for free ones. So I'll click on this and mouse over to one of the dots at the corner. Click and drag to resize the element. 
And then to position the image, you can mouse over to the center of it, click and drag to the position you want. Next, you can edit the text. Just click on it and you'll see the changes on this bar. You can edit the style of the text, change the size, change the color, bold it or whatever. And if you want to change the text, you can click on the text. And if you want to adjust the position, you have to click anywhere away from the text so that nothing is selected. Then click anywhere else within the element but not the text and drag it around. Now, I want to adjust the background color. In the past, Canva allow you to change the background to transparent, but apparently now they put this as a pro feature where you have to pay for it. But no biggie about that, you just have to be mindful that the background color that you use for your logo has to be the same as the background color of the header of your blog. Otherwise, your blog will look like this. And you don't want that. I would suggest that whatever color you use for your background of your logo, you want to copy this color code to be used on your blog. And if you're happy with the design, you can simply save this on your computer. But here's the last step. You want to find out the recommended logo size of your theme. Normally, if you want to upload a logo image to your WordPress blog, they will show you the recommended size and you want to follow it for the optimal display of your logo. So again, Canva used to have this feature where you can resize, but not anymore. You have to pay for the pro version to do that. But I'll show you a way that you can crop this for free. Just visit iloveimg.com Then upload the image you have downloaded. Input the right pixels. Drag it around to the spot you want to crop. And when you're done, crop the image, download the image, and we're done. Creating a professional logo is just that simple and it is free. Now the final part of this video, I want to show you how you can generate a nice looking professional logo for free in just a few seconds. You'll be amazed by this, it's freaking amazing. So you can go to freelogodesigns.org, I've left the link below as well. Click on that and it will bring you to this page. Put in your site name or domain name. Then select the category that is closest to your niche and get started. And within a few seconds, it will populate a list of logo designs. And as you can see, there are so many pages of designs. And I want to find one that I like. I'll click on it and add. And in here, you can change the logo font. Adjust the color of the logo to fit your brand and basically everything you can do on Canva. Then once you're done, click on save and you will see this page where you can download it for free. Now the image you download will be on low resolution and if you want a higher resolution image, you can pay for it, it's really up to you. I'm just sharing with you some methods to create free logos. So click on download, they will need your name and email address. Fill up those fields and click OK. Go to your inbox and you will find the download link and you're basically done. For an alternative of this method, you may want to check out designhue.com. I've left a link below this video as well. So the methods I've just shared with you, in my opinion, is much better than hiring a professional designer to design your logo. But of course, if you want a full solution, like a variation of logos and brand design, you can hire someone from Upwork for higher quality designers as compared to those that you can find on Fiverr. But really, this is just my experience and opinion. Yours might be different. So to wrap up this video, if you are new to logo creation and you don't wish to learn about designing skills like Photoshop or GIMP, you can simply go to Canva and design your logo and you can consider the pro version to unlock all those features I've mentioned. But as I mentioned, there are ways to go around those restrictions if you choose not to upgrade to the pro. Then if you want to design a logo within 5 minutes or less, you can go to freelogodesigns.org or design here to get one logo done. But if you still have no idea at all about what logo design you should go for, this is just in case, try searching for sites in your niche and try to get logo ideas from there. See what other types of logos others are using and get inspiration. An alternative is to do a Google search on related keywords and put a logo behind your keyword and click on image and you should find some inspiration. 
So I hope that this video is helpful to you and do hit the thumbs up to let me know that you found value and I'll continue to provide lots of useful tips like this for you on this channel. So do subscribe and click the bell as well to get notified whenever new videos are published on this channel. This is Jack from Income Stream Builders and I hope that your blog is taking shape right now and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.